We're being asked to convert the following decibel numbers to binary. We're starting out with 125 for this problem. And when we're finding the values to look at, we're going to look at the max values for our base. So two raised to some number. This number has to be slightly greater than 125. And once we find the number that's greater than 125, we are going to take one less than that because we want to still be in our 125 range. We have to be under this 125. So for this problem, two to the seventh is slightly greater than 125. So we're gonna start with two to the six. Once we find this out, we can start writing our values. We're gonna have two to the sixth, two to the fifth, two to the third, two to the second, two to the first, and then two to the zeroth. We're just going in descending order when we write this out. So two to the six is going to be present. It's just going to be a one. Remember, we're converting to binary. 2 to the 6 is equivalent to 64. So if we want to keep track of this, we can go inner calculator and do 125 minus 2, 2 to the 6. And this is going to give us 61. That means the next value has to be less than 61. Well, 2 to the 5th is 32. That's less than 61. So we are going to have a 1 in here. And then we'll do 125 minus 2 to the 6 minus 2 to the 5th. And this is going to give us 29. 2 to the 4th is 16. This is less than 29. So this is going to be in our binary numbers. And this is going to give us 13 right here. 2 to the 3rd is 8. This is in our range. So this is also going to be in here. We're just going to subtract 2 to the 3rd in our calculator. And next we have 5. 2 to the 4th is in our 5. It's going to be 4. So this is going to go down here. And if we subtract from 2 to the 4th, 5, we're just going to get 1 left. Well, 2 to the 1 is a little bit greater than 1, so we are not going to have anything here. 2 to the 0th is just 1. That's perfect. And this is how we would write the binary form for the decibel number 125. Next, we're going to go on to 610. So for 610, we have to find the exponent that's slightly greater when we have the base 2. 10 is slightly greater, so we are going to start with 2 raised to the 9th power. And then we're going to write these out in descending order. In our calculator, I'm going to do 610 minus 2 raised to the 9th. This is going to give us a 98. We're still in our range, so this is going to be present. Next, I'm going to subtract a 2 to the 8th. We can see if we do this, it's going to make our number negative. So that means 2 to the 8th is not going to be in here. So then we're just going to subtract 2 to the 7th. That still makes our number negative, so this is out of our range. It's going to be 100. Zero, zero. Now, if we subtract the 6th, it's okay. We're going to be in our range. We're going to get a 34. So we'll have a one down here. This two to the fifth is in our range. It's going to make our overall value two. So this is going to be one. This will bring us out of our range, so that's zero. This will bring us out of our range, that's zero. This will also bring us out of the range, so that's zero. Two to the first is two, which is in our range. So our last value is two to the first. There should also be a two to the zero here, but this is going to be zero since this is all that we need. And that is the binary equivalent to 610. For 2003, we're going to do the same thing, 2 raised to some value, and we want to find one that's a little bit over 2003. 2040 is a little bit over 2003, so that's what I'm going to use. We are going to have 2 to the 11th, so we're going to write out 2 to the 11th, 2 to the 10th, and then just like always, we're going to go down in descending order. So those are our values. I made a mistake here, I included the 2 to the 11th, but since 2 to the 11th is greater than 2003, we don't want to use that. We want to use one less than that. So we should be starting at 2 to the 10th. This is going to give us 1024. And given that this is in a range, this is going to be our first number. This 2 to the 9th will also leave us in a range, so this is going to be in here. This 2 to the 8th is also in a range, so we're going to put a 1 down here. 2 to the 7th is also in a range, so 1 is down here. 2 to the 6th is also in a range, so we're going to bring this down here. 2 to the 5th will give us a negative number, so we are going to have a 0 here. 2 to the 4th is going to have us in our range, so we will have a 1 inside of here. 2 to the 3rd is going to bring us outside of our range, and so is 2 to the 2nd, so both of these are 0. 2 to the 1st is perfect, we need a 2, so that's going to be 1. And then we also need a 1, so this is the 1. And that is the binary equivalent to 2003. Lastly, we're going to look at the binary equivalent to 18,944. 2 to the 15 is slightly greater than 18,944. So we're going to use one less than that, and that is going to be 2 to the 14th. So we're going to write our values out 2 to the 14th, 2 to the 13th, and so on, just like we have in a descending order. This 2 to the 14th is in our range, so we're going to have a 1 here. 2 to the 13th, 2 to the 12th are both out of our range. They're going to give us a negative value if we plug them in, so we're going to write zeros here. 
To the 11th is inner range, so we're going to have a 1 here. To the 10th is slightly out of our range, so we're going to write a 0 here. And when I say out of our range, I'm basically having all the ones that we have so far being added together and then subtracted from the total. And then if we subtract this next value, if we have a negative number, that means we can't use it because we have to um, add all of these together. But And that basically means that when we eventually figure out the binary equivalent to this, if we add all of these values right here, or what they represent, if we basically add this together, this, 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 skip this because it's zero, and then continue on with the rest of the ones, we should get the value that we are converting from decimal. In that case, it'd be 2003 for that example. But back to 18,944, if we plug in the nine, this is going to give us a zero. That means it is in a range, but that means the rest of these are going to be zero because there's nothing left to look at. And that is the conversion from decimal to binary for all four of those numbers.